have a complex fraction. And not only is it a complex fraction, but the rational expressions that we see are being added or subtracted in the numerator and the denominator. Again, the way to handle this is to handle the numerator and the denominator separately. So first, the numerator. And I want to add, actually I want to subtract this. Common denominator, well, my LCD is going to be x squared, y cubed. I look at what I have and what is lacking. Well, what's lacking from this denominator, x squared, is a y cubed. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by y cubed minus 1 over y cubed. What's lacking here from the denominator is the x squared. So I'm multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by x squared. This is going to give me y cubed right here over x squared y cubed minus x squared over x squared y cubed. Since I now have a common denominator, this is, I can then subtract. So it's y cubed minus x squared over this common denominator. This is my numerator. So I'm going to go over here and write this new numerator that I have. And this is much easier to work with because now I just have a fraction. I have a rational expression. I don't have two rational expressions and subtraction. Denominator. Okay, so that was the numerator. Let's now work with the denominator. I'm adding, and I'm being asked to add y over x cubed plus x over y squared. The LCD is x cubed, y squared. So to convert this, I'm going to have to multiply this fraction by y squared over y squared, because that's what's lacking. And I'm going to add that to x over y squared, and what's lacking from this denominator is x cubed. So I multiply this, this is x cubed over x cubed. This gives me y times y squared is y cubed over the common denominator, y cubed, x, uh, x cubed, y squared, plus x times x cubed is going to give me x to the fourth. over x cubed y squared. Since these now have a common denominator, I'm going to add y cubed plus x to the fourth over x cubed y squared. Okay, I handled this as two different problems. A subtraction problem up here to get the numerator. An addition problem adding rational expressions in, down here to find the denominator, which is y cubed plus x to the fourth over x cubed y squared. Once I'm to this point, I just use my usual rules for dividing rational expressions. So remember, we're going to rewrite this as a division problem because this fraction bar is just telling me to divide. So this is going to give me, I'm going to rewrite this down here as y cubed minus x squared divided by x squared y cubed. This entire rational expression is being divided by this one. y cubed plus x to the fourth divided by x cubed y squared. Dividing one rational expression by another is simply multiplying. The first by the inverse of the second. So I'm going to rewrite this as x cubed y squared divided by y cubed plus x to the fourth. Now, multiplication, the next step is always to simplify. So let's look for common factors. I have x cubed here, x squared down here. 
get rid of the x squared. This becomes x, because I took out the factor of x squared. I have a y squared here and a y cubed here. That cancels out, and this just becomes y, because I took out a y squared. Now let's see what I have left and multiply that. I have an x times this whole thing, which is y cubed minus x squared, divided by, I have a y left here, and I have y cubed plus x to the fourth. And now I've simplified it as far as I can. And this took many steps. You have to be careful, make sure that you keep track of everything. But start out by simplifying the numerator by subtracting to get this numerator. Simplify the denominator by adding to get this for the denominator. Then treat this as a regular complex fraction where we're going to take this numerator, divide by the denominator, and we handle that by taking the first rational expression and multiplying by the reciprocal of the second. I found common factors. I canceled those out, and this is what I ended up with, and it cannot be simplified anymore. So that concludes this lesson on adding and subtracting rational expressions. Thanks for visiting educator.com.